hi guys so this is my analysis update on gold what am i expecting on gold guys if you watched my previous analysis on gold i said i was expecting if gold is continuing to push the upside i'm expecting gold targets to be 1894.44 around that area before we now see our next move on uh on gold but overall right we might see push up come do a possible retest our industry line before we now continue to push to the downside right here but those are like overall um predicting to the future right there so i said um that we might push to the upside because i saw this engulfing can i saw this candle right here if i zoom in so we can say that even when i said that we might continue to push to the upside right we can see that we close this break because i thought it might start rejecting off of this zone right here and we can see that it came to the zone and it closes above the zone right here above the zone right here it closes above the zone so i said there's a possibility that we might push up a little bit and we can see that it came to this previous um previous resistance right here it's weaked around that area and continue to drop to the downside so that shows that there's a possibility that we might not continue to push up to my target which is my 18 nine four forty four around that area because of this weak rejection as i mean we've closed above the zone right here and it's part of like a retest or something that shows that the trend has shifted then is going to, then my target will be my 1894 around that area but as soon as i see that it's pushed because this was my first um point of interest right here and as soon as i see that this kind of close um below uh, sorry above it this became my point of interest right so and you can see we rejected my point of interest and this was a perfect stretch to take especially this candlestick right here was a perfect trade to use to take the trade if i see right around that area which is um we can see if i use my measure from here to possible here because i still think we continue to push to this right here gold gave us 276 pips that is beautiful which i still think we're gonna to get to my 1842 that is my target if you see that this was my first target here this was my second target here so i'm just going to adjust this one and bring it to closer to this current because i still think gold is still going to push to right here yeah i still think we're coming here on gold i'm going to delete this previous one so i still think gold is going to push to that side right here which is beautiful that helps gold did beautifully well right so right now i'm going to adjust this trend line right here because of this new price action just to make it um okay perfect so now i'm going to delete this one here i'm going to sh shift here to here this is another target right here that we can see so i'm going to go to a smaller time frame we can draw a trend line here shows this break of trend line right here so if you come here right if you come here something like this and depending on how it's react around the zone if you're going for a buy this will be my possible target for a buy right which is right here will be a, i'm going to delete this previous one so that will be a possible target for a buy because of this break of structure here this was always break of structure with this engulfing candle right here but i still think we might push down here give me something like this and possible push to the upside and if you push to the upside that will be my target but like i used to say you can't predict the market you can only react to the market but if i see momentum around my negative 27 percent fib level then there's a possibility that we are going directly to my six 
my right here my push directly because it's but this is maybe right around here will be our next target will be our next target but like i said one step at a time i don't want to go way too much to the future so because most of the time right if you've been watching my analysis you know around my negative 27 percent zone is a reversal um zone so around that area there's a possibility for it to reverse and that will be my possible target right here target for a buy direction and because to come here to fill in this imbalance right here all right and to touch this trend line and that will not when we get them i determine our next move but that is how i see it right now hope you find it helpful and insightful guys if you do don't forget to subscribe comment like and share and i'll see you in my next analysis thank you for watching guys bye